up, y'all? It's a robot watcher. Grab your binoculars. And today is a sad day. With the draft being only 15 days away, this is most likely the last player profile, player eval video we're doing. So if you see this, like, comment, subscribe. Go back to the back catalog. Watch all the player evals because next week we're probably going to be doing player rankings for a position. And the week before that, probably going to do more rankings or more sleepers. But yeah, let's get into it, Javon Baker. Now, I love Javon Baker, man. The reason I, I decided to do this guy, I know we're Panthers fans, most of the people on the channel, but I got other fans that watch, so I post all over, guys. But usually, if you've been tracking recently, I've been doing only top 30 visits for the Panthers, mainly for these uh, evals. That's why I did Ricky Pierce all last week. But I love Javon Baker so much, I need him to be talked about. So, Javon Baker, athletic profile, RAS score is 7.181. 7.81, sorry. Not as good, but... Whatever, six foot, six foot one, uh, 202 pounds, 454, 40, 20 yard split is 265, 10 yard split is 158. Just okay, good numbers, not anything elite or crazy. Um, his vertical though, 37 inches, really, really good. I like that a lot. Um, broad jump was also 10 inches or 10 one. Arm length, 32 inch arms, really good. Also, good arm length, good vertical. Kind of lets you know, nine inch uh, hand size, so really, really big hands. Really long arms and really good vertical, but let's get into his stats. Um, when it comes to his stats, you have first two years at Bama. Then he transfers to UCF. So first year, uh, two 15, zero tutties in eight games, 11 games played. In the second year, seven, one on one, one tutty. 2022, 14 games played, 56 catches, 796 yards, five tutties. First year, uh, UCF. And last year, uh, 52 catches, 1,139 yards, seven tutties in his last year at UCF. Then he declared for the draft. So four-year player. Let's get into the film. All right, we know what we came for. So when it comes to the strengths of your boy Javon Baker, smooth route runner, smooth. I know last week we talked about how guys can be good at route running in different ways, whether it's their physical abilities, whether they're a technician. Sometimes you just have guys that are so smooth and silky, regardless of the speed that they're running at, that it just tricks up a DB. That's what Javon Baker is. I wouldn't say he's a technician. I wouldn't say it's because his physical gifts, but he's just a, such a smooth, silky route runner. It's almost like watching Kyrie Irving or Paul George, somebody like that play basketball. That's just so very smooth. I mean, he uses rocker steps um he he uses hesitation deep into the route he plays into the leverage of guys most of the time that's usually how he gets open he's playing into the leverage of one guy kind of breaks it off so smooth and so fluid that it, it isn't really a, a chance for you to catch up to where he's going but really really smooth route runner i don't think he will struggle with creating separation um almost kind of like a guy like keon coleman where his physical abilities and his lack of route running kind of limit him for creating separation. This guy may not have the most insane physical abilities as far as combine testing numbers, but his route running is so good and so polished that he's going to create separation just by running his routes. So good. Also, next point, great release at the line, whether it's playing against off coverage, or playing in press, where guys necessarily can't get their hands on him because he's so fast off the line. I won't say he's super bursteful and explosive, but he does have this quick get off quick get into his moves and he's so great you never really see the same release over and over depending on especially depending on how corners play him really really good release it, it, oftentimes he's winning at the line of scrimmage and then stacking on top of them and that's how he gets into his route and gets separation but really really great release really really smooth silky route runner oh, one of the five six best route runners in this game i mean in this class I'm going to put him up there, Not he's not better than these guys, but up there with Ladd, up there with Jacob Cowing, up there with Jamari Thrash, up there with Ricky Pearsall. He's in that names of route running, uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. also. He's up there with those guys. Um, also, next point, he has stick him on his gloves. I mean, dog. This dude will catch any and everything. It does not matter if he's contested uncontested one hand two hands i mean i'm watching him in his workout videos kind of he's posting for the combine he's snatching it with one hand like somebody just handed it to him i'm watching him in the red zone for some games just go up and get it over guys D uh, diving catches jumping over through guys through catches one hand catches i mean bro he could just palm the football so easily i mean you see the the picture i use for the strengths uh uh the strengths what i call this web page or i guess you could say slide 
it, it, it's just really natural. He just plucks the ball out of the air. He will let it come into his body sometimes when he needs to. But most of the time, he's just plucking the ball out of the air. So natural with his hands. So good with his hands. Um, he does have some focus drops here and there, but I don't care. He's so such naturally gifted as a catcher. I don't care about that. Such naturally gifted hands. Just, like I said, stick them on his hands. But then also going to say the next point, catch radius is insane. He can make catches toe tapping out of bounds. Throw it way outside of his frame. He can go up and get it. Kind of make an overthrow that he has to come back to. He can go up and grab with one hand. He could be deep downfield, make a one-hand catch over a defender that's pushing him out of bounds. He could be in the red zone, go up and make a one-hand catch over the defender on a fade route. Um, throw it behind him if you want to. Throw it, throw it late. Throw it behind him. He'll be able to readjust and get back to the ball and catch it. The guy is insane when it comes to his catch radius. This is why I brought up his hand size and his arm length at the beginning of the video and, and with his vertical because since he has such a good vertical, almost 40 inches, 37 is great. And in those long arms, he's just able to outreach and go get the ball from anywhere that you need him to get it from. Really, really good catch radius. Really going to make a lot of errors from a QB right. He's going to get a lot of back shoulders, things like that. Really good catch radius, man. Let me stop glazing. But um, also, he has the speed and ability to stack to win deep. Now, he's you see 4-5-4, four, four, and you think he's not much of a deep threat. He's kind of a jump ball guy, but he gets separation and burn guys downfield also. Um, he also hit 21, uh, 21 miles per hour on the GPS. I'll probably show the play on a specific play, I think, against Arkansas. So he might be a little bit faster um, GPS time than his 40 gives off. But, man, he kind of, like I said, he's beating guys at the lineman scrimmage with that release. Or he's hitting those guys with those hesitation rocker steps and go, just speeding past those guys, stacking them. And that's able to get him deep and be able to beat those guys deep. Going to be a really good vertical threat. Uh, at the next level with that catch radius with that vertical that jumping ability and that speed and ability to stack and release at the line to win deep um also his like i talked about his vertical just insane man 37 inches he's able to just jump over guys he's able to just jump to balls that aren't necessarily catchable he's able to jump and go grab with that vertical on those long arms going to be a really good jump ball especially going to be a really good red zone threat because he can just out jump guys and that's also the next point jump ball specialist man he does not care who's on him who's in front of him how close you are he will jump over you and tap that head dog with those hands that he has he's able to just pluck it from over a defender and move it into that one hand keep it away from him as long as he can start getting better with getting his feet down because there was a couple catches where he just had these highlight really one-handed two-handed amazing jump ball going over a db catches he wasn't able to get both feet down whether he's pushed out of bounds all that if he can start to get his feet down more often dog he will be a red zone machine you take in take you give him a two-way go you give him a fade or you give him the option to run a slant with the good release he has and good route running he could beat you inside on that slant oh he sees you're playing inside he's just going to break it off into a fade throw it if he's going to grab it over you he's He's an amazing jump ball specialist. Up there with Keon Coleman in this route, uh, in this class. Up there with Keon Coleman. I don't know if I would say he's better, but he's definitely up there. They're, they're neck and neck for the best jump ball wide receiver in this class. Um, next thing, one of the last things I'm going to talk about, or the last thing I will talk about, because it's a lot more I can go into, but I'm going to stop it here. Alignment versatility. I've seen that the Panthers beat riders have been talking about a lot how Teams aren't moving away from X, Y, Z receivers, and they just want guys that they can move around and play in any position. Dave Canales talks about how he like moving guys around and playing from wherever on the field. He has that alignment versatility. I've seen him line up at X. I've seen him line up at Z. I've seen him line up in the slot, and I've seen him win deep, intermediate, short from all, not necessarily short. He doesn't run too many short routes, but deep and intermediate from all 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 those spots all over the field so his alignment versatility will help him get drafted a lot higher i think this is a guy that people are sleeping on and if they are waking up they're not waking up enough because he's going to get drafted much higher than people expect um really really play i love this guy dude um i think he's going to be a, a wide receiver too that's almost i want to say his floor I can see three, but I think his floor is a wide receiver two, and maybe he could just turn into a really good wide receiver one. We'll have to see. 
if you know some of the weaknesses he can fix and get better at but let's get into those things right now what's not his game all right let's get into the stuff that's not necessarily javon baker's game and not to seem like a glazer but it's not much stuff i could really pull up i don't want to make it seem like he's the perfect prospect and he could do no wrong because if that's the case he should be going one but I mean, it's not much to his game that you can improve. Of course, if you wish he could be faster, of course, but he can't control that. You wish he could have much more explosion and, and burst, things like that, but that's not necessarily something he can control and improve on. So stuff that's not his game, his acceleration. I talked about how his speed is really good and he hit 21 on that one play that I showed earlier, 21 miles per hour, and he was thinking the top five fastest players on GPS at the Senior Bowl, um, but he does take a little second, not necessarily super long, but it does take him a second to kind of build up that speed and generate that speed. That's probably why he was mostly used on those deep and intermediate routes from what I was watching. I didn't see him too much on short routes, but those deep and intermediate routes, I see him over and over used on those. So maybe that's what it is. His acceleration isn't good enough to get underneath. That is something that could hold him back. Next, um, he doesn't have super amazing short area burst i talked about how he is somewhat quick off the line but he doesn't have burst he doesn't have burst in those close quarters to kind of be flexible twitchy get in and out and burst out of it but he also isn't slow and bad it's just everything is adequate he's like a luka Doncic. it's like luka isn't this physical specimen but the skills that he has are elite are really good so his when it comes to his agility when it comes to his acceleration when it comes to his burst in the short area he's not amazing he's not elite he's not malik neighbors but he's adequate at it so that kind of can limit him maybe in some yak maybe against certain um certain dbs things like that but like i said we're reaching for straws here if you ask me anyways last thing i have is questions about press I don't necessarily I don't I think he can beat press but I do want to see him with kind of his more slender mold and he doesn't use his hands as much at, at the uh, line of scrimmage I do want to see him against a stronger faster corner who can get their hands on him and kind of push him around like a Jalen Ramsey and see if he's able to hold up against that but other than that bro I don't think that's a negative I just threw something else on there but it's not much man like I say it's like Luka Doncic like yeah he's not the fastest yeah, he's not the most agile. Yeah, he's not the twitchiest. But his skill set is just there. Like, it's just there. He's a good football player. Simple as that. So let's get into his player build. Now, everybody's favorite part of the video, or at least mine, the player build that we have today. Today, we have built a polished alpha wide receiver. Um, I kind of struggle with what I wanted to name this because I could call him so many different things. But I talked about how he's polished. His skill set is just amazing. You talk about his timing on jumps. Um, you talk about his his great hands, his natural hands, and, and his stick -em ability. You talk about that vertical. Talk about his savviness, his smoothness in his route running, how he can set guys up. Talk about his good releases at the line of scrimmage, his great releases at the line of scrimmage, how he's able to stack guys. He's just a polished wide receiver when it comes to the wide receiver skill set. Alpha, because I think he'll be best as your X wide receiver maybe as your z because he can run intermediate routes things like that but just really good jump ball give me that ball and he has that moxie to him that like i'm gonna uh, i mean it was one play where he's blowing a kiss at the sidelines as he's running for an 80 yard touchdown he has that alpha mentality um he's gonna want the ball i think i think he's gonna demand about kind of like ad mitchell did in that what was that the conference championship game or semi-final he was like give me the damn ball i think he has that same mentality you need it as a wide receiver um let's get into the shades of first one george pickens um george pickens has this knack they also are low-key built the same they look you remind me of the same slender frame but also a little bit of muscle on there packs a little punch behind them they look exactly alike if you ask me um, I don't know uh, uh, the 40 time of George Pickens, things like that, but I imagine their profiles are probably the same physical. But anyways, that vertical that George Pickens has and that ability to go up and catch it over whoever, turn a 50-50 ball into a 60-40 or 65-35, I think Javon Baker has that exact same ability with those exact same hands with a little bit more stickiness to them. Woo! Also, I think they have that same alpha mentality. I think George Pickens is a little more diva-esque, but 
they both had that alpha mentality the I want the ball I'm the best receiver this guy can't guard me mentality and both are still decently route runners I think Javon Baker is much more polished coming out especially but still decent route runners from both next one I have first con uh shades of I came up with when I was thinking about this Michael Gallup I mean this obviously could be a comp like Michael Gallup we seen Michael Gallup Go up and snatch it over, guys. We see Michael Gallup be really, really smooth in his routes, be able to win intermediate, win deep. They're like a one-to-one -one comparison when you talk about their skill sets. Um, maybe not their measurables and stuff, but the skill sets, they look exactly like if you cut on one highlight tape and you cut on the other highlight tape, it looks like you're watching the same player. It's just one was in college, one's in the NFL. But <clears throat> uh, specifically, Micah, Michael Gallup before his knee injury, 1,000-yard receiver, 800-yard receiver, a good wide receiver, too. Maybe not a one like a George Pickens. I think George Pickens is that one ability if he's able to get that 65, 30, uh, 35 jump ball ability. But if not, Michael Gallup is a good wide receiver, too, before injuries. I think Javon Baker could be that. Next one, Michael Gallup. I mean, not Michael Gallup. I just said that. Michael Wilson, another guy I love coming out. Shout out to uh, the franchise guy for putting me on to him. Whenever I was watching his videos last year, just a really nifty, good, savvy route runner and a big body frame receiver, a, a, a alpha receiver, an X receiver, basically. Just a really, really nuanced and really polished route runner. And I think that goes into Javon Baker's route run and things like that. It's not much more to talk about there. But yeah, I mean, if you ask me, I love this guy. I think this guy should be a high second round pick. Will he be? I don't know. I think he just has it. I think... If I had to bet on any sleeper receiver that people aren't necessarily talking about to be a star, easily Jawan Baker. Before anybody else, before Ricky Pearsall, before I love Jacob Cowan, before um, Roman Wilson, people are talking about him a little bit more, before um, whoever. Uh, what's the guy for Jermaine Burton? I'm betting on Jawan Baker to be a star before any of those guys. I think he'll be around a 700 or let's say 800 to 1,000 yard receiver most of his career. Six to nine, ten touchdowns, depending on how good he is in the red zone per year. Just a really, really good player. And if I whiff, I don't give a f I'm ready to die on this hill. I love Javon Baker. You should, too. But that's all I got for y'all this week. Man, it's kind of bittersweet that the draft is only 15 days away. I'm going to have some video, a video next week, and I'm probably going to have a couple videos the week of the draft. So lock in for me. Like the video, subscribe, send it to your friends, share it, comment what you think, comment what rankings you want to see first next week and what videos you want to see before the draft. Let me know what you think of Javon Baker. Who should draft him? Do you think he could be a star? Am I glazing? This has been a Real Ball Watcher. Put up your binoculars. I'll see you next week.